All right, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome back to Has Been Heroes. So we're in a bit of a pickle as I'm completely out of stamina. However, I believe in myself, and I believe that I can make this work. <laughs> well, he went down instantaneously. All right. So we got one of those guys. I mean, honestly, I think our pickle situation is not nearly as pickly as it could be. It could be a lot worse. I believe in myself, though. Okay, does this... Oh, jeez. This guy has a ton of HP. This... Uh, should be fine. I believe. I'm not entirely sure. We've got to make sure that we don't get, like, uh... Totally screwed over by everything along the way here. Okay, I'm just gonna wait. Okay, so there looks like there might be a leader in the back. Or something. There's These guys are moving real quick in the back. And that's not a good situation to be in. Okay. Uh, let's see. Gotta figure out the exact plan here. Because <laughs> I've got a uh, limited moveset. And a lot of... Oh, I... Did that on the wrong guy. Okay. Well, you know what? I'm gonna warp that guy to the back. We're just gonna punch him. And then just zap him a bunch. And then just knock him back from there. Okay. This'll... This'll do poorly, but it'll do. Luckily, a lot of these guys aren't particularly durable. Like, at first I was I was worried about the, the health we were looking at. But it looks like most of my enemies are actually um, not nearly as scary as they initially look. Uh, let's see, how much HP does he have? Tons. That is way too much. Okay, uh, let's do Fire Sword. Let's do Ice. Punch him. Okay, that kills him. That's good. Uh, let's move these down. Yeah, I gotta be careful, because we probably can't withstand a whole lot of hits from these guys. Which sucks, but whatever. Okay, uh, so what do we got here that I can boost up? Honestly, I'm gonna just warp that guy to the back. We're gonna start tossing fire and flames at some of these dudes. Uh, he's only got 15 HP left. Okay. The trick is, punch him, beat him, and burn him. And seeing as we've got, like, fire damage for days, we might actually be able to get through this a, a lot uh, smoother than I th was expecting. I was kind of expecting everything to go uh, terribly on my end. But I think we're golden. Okay, get that punch. Okay, we've got a dude with five. Coming in. How do we deal with him? Uh, actually, come to think of it, we've got... We have the fire portal, but we have a hot potato. Ready and raring to go. Oh, we've got a guy with nine. Okay, whatever. Again, I got... I got ways of dealing with dudes. Oh. Where'd he come from? Ah, okay. Uh... Okay, he goes to the back. Here's the question, what do we do next? Honestly, let's freeze this guy here. Fire attacks. Do a double strike. At the very least, to uh, just punch him a little bit. We want to take this guy out, and the dude in the back is... Yep, okay, he's down. Actually, no, we want her up here. I'm gonna poison that one. I'm gonna poison... Oh, can't poison both of these guys. Well, that's unfortunate. Okay. A lot of fire hits. I'm just gonna hit that guy a bunch. He's immune to fire, but we kind of already knew that. Okay. I guess we have the portal. So isn't that big of a deal. And, come to think of it, we've got lightning punch that we can load up here. Okay, and keep knocking him back. 
Probably should have actually loaded up something to do a little bit more damage, but the Tigress does an all right amount. Now let's do more fire and... Oh, jeez. More of these, like, uh, anno semi-annoying shield guys. I think we'll be fine. Okay, so how do we... How do we deal next? I guess I might as well freeze that guy. Let's double up her attack and just wail on him a little bit. Hey, he's already down. Good. Okay, uh, let's toss a hot potato into this guy. We don't have anything more than that. That's fine. It's not the smoothest of experiences. But my party is a little bit tougher than... Maybe they should be. I don't know how, like, overpowered we are in, in all of this, honestly. It'd be kind of nice, nice to get, like, an accurate assessment of, like, you know, how far, how well am I doing here? Or am I, like, totally screwed and I don't even know it? Because the advice I had been given with this level specifically had been, uh, avoid all combat. And I seem to be doing pretty okay, actually. Despite the fact that I am in no way, shape, or form avoiding any combat. Okay, so we've got... Is that a leader or is that just a dude with a mop? I have no idea, actually. Well, I'm gonna warp him back. Just punch that guy right. He's immune. How much HP does he have? Too much. How is he not dead yet? Okay, there we go. And if we wait just a smidge longer. 12 attacks, right to this guy's everything. Still didn't kill him though. Wow. Yeah, these guys have a lot more HP. Okay, let's move her down. We can do a double hit or we can do any number of other things. Okay, so that's a leader in the back. Uh, let's do hot potato, fire, punch, switch. ZR, oh, wait. Okay. Let's do ZR Thunder Punch. ZR Double Punch. Double Punch. Okay. So we gotta wait until his shield's gone, though. Guess I'll have the Tigress just hit that guy. Okay. So one, two, I guess we could wait for a moment. We'll have enough to get a 24 hit combo in here. Okay. Let's do that then. I really don't like leader class enemies in this game. Okay, should probably focus fire this guy a little bit harder than I have been. Oh, they're leaving. Oh, okay. Well. I'm just going to hit this guy with everything I've got, seeing as he's the only one remaining. Oh, he died. Okay. Yeah, not a perfect battle, but we didn't we didn't need a perfect one. Okay, so we have a frost spell vendor. So, we can go gambling here. I think. How much is it per? 40 gold per. Yeah, we have just enough. Okay, so this is an item. It's a skull. I'm just gonna let him, him have it, if we can get it. He needs more items anyway. This is actually one of the most balanced teams I've ever had. Okay, flying skull. Not exactly the most handy. I like how he actually has both of the flying skulls. Not that it's a problem or anything. Okay, and we're gonna let the rogue have it. Unless it's, like, truly bad. I have no idea what this is going to do. Poison, probably. Lane damage, all enemies hit are poisoned for 10 seconds. Ooh. That'll be fun. Alright, now... Okay, I'm gonna start by burning the altar. This is a bit wasteful on can candles. I was really hoping that was going to be money. It was not. 
So now we get to be taunted by that and dice. Actually, that's not so bad. Okay, lightning spell vendor I'm going to regret a bit though. I'm too poor for it. Well, we'll be okay. I mean, honestly, we've got... We finally got an AoE move, which is awesome. I just gotta figure out how to make it work in my favor. Okay, so he's frozen for a while. Okay, so this is a mess. How are we doing this? Okay, let's, let's start with fire, and let's start with punching. Okay, this should go a little bit smoother. We've got... Hmm. Let's thunder punch this guy, bring him back, and immediately punch him again. Okay, life life is looking good. We just gotta make sure these these flame skeletons don't mess our day up too bad. Uh, cause there's a lot of guys here. And I don't appreciate what they're doing. Okay, so how much HP does this guy have? Not much. So we could actually just nuke him down the rest of the way, instead of fighting him normally. And now what? <laughs> uh, let's see. This, this should work. We killed the ghost, right? Yeah, we killed the ghost. Okay, so next up, let's load up some fire, chuck a poison spear at that guy, and start... Oh, shoot. He, re he regened. Well, that's okay. I was kind of expecting that to not work so great. Okay. Oh, right. Uh, let's see. So I've got... A, I'm just going to chuck ice that direction. We're good. Oh. Okay, less... A little bit less good. That stupid shield. I hate it. Knock that guy back. And we can double this hit. We can double this hit. Okay. We've got a, a whole slew of dudes here that's not exactly something I'm keen on dealing with. Wait for him to land, and then poison this whole lane. If we're lucky, that'll take all of them out. If we're not lucky, eh. We'll figure it out. Uh, yep, he's not dead yet. That poison effect just does not feel nearly as good as it, as it should. Okay, so let's zap that guy. Fire. And... I don't want a hot potato. I guess I'll just punch him. There we go. Okay. Life is feeling good here. Like, we might actually be able to get through this mess. I mean... I guess it's always kind of felt like that, 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 that you know, these aren't going to be that big of a deal. It's just a matter of, like, sometimes when you see that, like, initial wave of enemies, you're like, Oh, jeez. This is, um... This is going to be a mess. Okay, let's do... Warp him back. Punch him a bunch. Bring him down. Okay. Do a lightning punch. Actually, probably should have just... Nope, that worked. Okay. Sometimes it doesn't work, and I'm not entirely sure how or why. Oh, we've taken... That's a lot of fire damage. Okay, it's gonna have to be really careful. Here. Okay, what are we gonna do with this guy? I guess we can hot potato him. That's easy enough. Yeah, so we have to worry about the luchador. Uh, a lot. Because he can get set on fire. And die. Which is definitely something I'd, I'd prefer to avoid. We're... This is... Probably one of my best runs ever, and I'd hate to squander it just because of, uh... Oh, he's immune to lightning. Okay, well that's peachy. We gotta take out this plant first, then we gotta figure out what to do with this guy. Okay, well we got fire. Got lightning, I'm just gonna kill that guy. Let's do poison. Let's do ice. And actually, if we just punch him, nope. Not enough. There we go. Now he's dead. Alright. And zombies. And plants. And I set the luchador on fire again. Dang it. Alright, whatever. We'll be okay. Uh, let's just toss a bunch of damaging spells his way. 
At the very least, we'll be able to just beat the tar out of him. Hey. Okay. And we've got these guys again. Okay. So some of them are fire immune, some are not. Oh, okay, that's something to keep in mind. Okay, well, let's hold on for a moment. Start doubling up her attacks, set fire to everything, and let's figure out what the plan is. So... One of these guys I can freeze. I'm gonna freeze him. I'm gonna lightning him, which hits everybody. Poison him. Oh, he didn't freeze. Okay, did we get him with a crit? I have no idea if we got him with a crit. And a hot potato one, which is not nearly as good as it used to be, which sucks. Okay, let's portal this guy back and beat the tar out of him. I'm doing everything wrong here. Actually, no, I'm not. We're good. We just gotta wait for that, that portal to drop. Okay. So, lightning punch. And then, nope, no regular punch. Well, that sucks. Okay. Screw it. <laughs> He's weak enough to lightning. He'll go down. Just hit him enough and it's not a problem anymore. That's how it works, right? Perfect. Okay, new enemy killed. And do we have eight, enough money to go back for that shop? The answer is no. Well, I don't have enough money, I don't have enough candles, so... I mean, honestly, we'll be fine. Okay, so there's nothing here. Hopefully we find a camp before the boss. It's gonna be kind of bleak. If we don't have one. Okay, so what's this do? Melee damage by 50%. Reduces melee charge, though. You know... I'ma do it. He does a fair amount of damage now, this will increase it more. And we can instantly recharge his attacks with th uh, Thunder Punch. Okay, so we get a Locksmith. It was completely pointless for this run. Okay, so there's the Stamina Camp and there's the Merchant Common. Let's go Stamina Camp. This might cost me some candles. But it'll be okay. So we wanna we wanna load up on stamina before we go into the fight. I'm gonna head for the merchant. It would have been great if I could head for the rare merchant. Oh, but none of the items were useful there. There was like a skull and some booster thing. Okay. I should have checked down. Eh, we don't we don't need any more fights than this. Is that a fight there? Okay. So we got faster spell recharge and spell recharge. Okay. I wonder if there's a cap on spell recharge. Now that I think about it. Okay, well, at this point, that's all we're gonna do. We're gonna burn candles here. We have just enough candles to make it. And let's go fight the boss. I could have fought the enemy group, but there wasn't really a whole lot of need to do so. And we're up against the poison pirate. Oh, that's how it makes sense. Okay, toxic gases. So we aren't poison immune, but we do have full stamina, which is super handy. We do have to worry about whatever these things do. Should be okay. We also have fire punches. Okay. I'm going to operate under the assumption that all of these are breakable. Oh, but they do poison me very temporarily. So we're going to have to be very careful that we don't, uh, that we don't, like, over, over push our characters. Okay. So we're gonna... I'm gonna just punch everybody. Oh, the zombies are... The zombies are poisoned. Okay. That's rough. Or, they're not poisoned, they're, uh... They have, uh... They're... They're Trojan horses. Effectively. Well, seeing as the Luchador... Uh, the Tigress is probably gonna be our our primary fighter here to some degree as long as we don't get too poisoned it's okay unfortunately I don't know what the trigger is 
and I'm a little bit scared to find out. As long as they don't have the green outline, I think we're good. No, we're not. We're not good. Okay. It doesn't look like we're taking too much damage here. I'm just, I'm just scared, man. Okay, let's drop some poison on them. Drop some lightning on them. We can take out these totem things rather quick. Yeah, like, it looks like we're healing. I'm just trying really hard to make sure we don't get, uh, dungled by weird boss design. Because it'd be pretty sad. Can I just fire spell him? There we go. Okay, probably should have actually taken out his goons. I don't know how long he stays stunned, though. And I'm a little bit worried that, uh... He just stays stunned forever. Or never. Okay, so this looks like a beautiful spot to start tossing some fire. We got a lot of line attacks. And while they're not incredibly useful... We'll do the trick. Okay, so we have a lot of zombies in this mess. I'm going to just keep warping some of them back. Yeah, so except for the Luchador, it seems like my other two characters are actually doing okay. So I'm just going to keep him as kind of backup for a moment. I Honestly, it looks like the Tigress... ...is the way to go here. Uh, she heals per hit. Which is something that none of the other... ...characters can do. I'm just going to keep, uh... Chucking stuff at them. Okay. If we can, if we can AOE them down, or use you know our our sheer number of spells against our foes here, we might actually be able to make this work. Yeah, I think I think we'll be fine. Mostly just worried about the uh, the large number of zombies hanging out in my general vicinity. I can nuke a lot of them down. And I can teleport a lot of them back. Because I've been loading up on non-stop... Okay, I have no idea which one's... which in this mess. I'm just gonna warp him back. That'll be fine. Luckily, I only ha have to hit the boss a couple of times here. To actually... You know. Okay, so I killed the guy in the center. Uh... Maybe let's wait for a moment. The Tigress. The Thief is okay. Even the Luchador is probably fine. Uh... Honestly, there aren't a whole lot of dudes here. It'd be nice if there was, like, a legit healing move in this game. But yeah, every time we hit an enemy with, a. Uh, with the Luchador, we run into problems. Okay, let's toss a hot potato at him. It doesn't actually stun him, which sucks. But we can warp him back. I'm just tossing fire and everything else that I got. At all of my enemies. Because if I just don't have to fight them, we're all good. We've loaded up on a fair number of... Uh, healing things, too. It's just... It's a very slow effect compared to the amount of damage and HP we have. Yeah, so if I hit them and they don't have the, uh, the outline around them, it's okay. Or, no, if I hit them and I kill them... Okay, so we have to have, um... We have to have the Tigress last hit. That's the trick. Because my guys can hit them otherwise. But... If they've got... Yeah, that little meter there. Okay, let's... See what kind of horrors we can throw this direction. Fire... Poison... More fire do lightning next. 
We just gotta kind of explode some of these guys. Nice part is the crawlers generally don't have the poison buff, so I can just wail on them freely. Same thing with the uh, the poison skull nonsense. Okay, uh, let's drop some thunder there. Punch that thing. Yep. Okay. Let's queue her up for another quad hit. He's got a number of goons rolling in, but they're not so bad. Okay. Punch him back. Break that thing. Fire weapons again. And I got a fireball saved. I'm just going to hit him in the back. He's probably going to immediately dump some stuff on us, but that'll be okay. Uh, so if he goes down, I don't know if he's going to go down. Oi. We gotta take care of that skull. I mean, luckily we've been pretty good at managing HPs here. So it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Okay, so we've got... Crawler, who might not be poisoned, that and him. Okay, so we're going to warp him to the back. Warp hi him, okay. Looking good. I'm trying to take out the center as fast as possible. Because the sooner that goes down, the sooner we don't have to... Okay, Thief is healed enough. Didn't kill it, though. Okay. Uh, let's toss some thunder. Some fire. Hot potato right in the center. Didn't take him out, but that's okay. Let's toss some more fire. We've got a lot of zo zombies rolling in. But the sooner I take out the... Uh, the massive, massive ghouls rolling in, the better. Okay, I'm going to warp him back. More fire. I, we're doing okay. Our HP is coming back. This would be uh, this would be a good time for the bard, honestly. Okay. Yeah, we are we are getting poisoned here. But it's not so bad. We have a lot of HP. They just have a lot of zombies. Okay, so we can kill that. We can kill that. As long as we don't take out the uh, the walkers with my guys. I mean, we all know that I'm not particularly good at avoiding hitting these guys. Just gonna toss fire in there. Did that kill him? I don't think it did. Yeah, it did. Okay, uh, that's fine. I mean, at this point, I've kind of resigned myself to, uh, we're gonna need to kill, uh, we're gonna need to take some damage here. Right, so I've got a teleporter. I'm just gonna send that guy to the very back. Okay. You need to cool down. Yeah, lucky, luckily, again, crawlers don't, uh... Crawlers aren't a problem. Okay. I gotta kill this guy. We're just gonna punch this thing. Yeah, the faster we get through this, I think the boss only has like a little bit of HP. So if I just kill him before my. I, this is. He's fighting a war of attrition instead of uh, actually being threatening here. Which kind of sucks. Also sucks that I'm loaded up with poison, so it doesn't, doesn't help my situation much, but whatever. Okay. You're gonna get a warp back double up her hits so she can hit this guy a little bit more. Because if I can take these guys out of the mix, it'll make my life a lot easier. Okay, more fire, more lightning? Yeah, some of them are immune, but that's not really a big deal. Uh, yeah, screw it.
He's got enough HP for this. Ish. I'm really glad we picked up Thor's hammer. It's kind of uh, handy for clearing groups of goons. More fire. Wish there was kind of an easier way to uh, work some of this stuff, but that's okay. Just gonna freeze what I can. We want to take out that skull up top. Because that's the last one, yeah? Oh, no, there's one more after it. Okay, well, that sucks. And he's starting to look worse for wear. Then again, he's always been kind of injured this entire fight. So it doesn't surprise me too much. That we're running into some issues. He also does tons of damage. Okay, let's... Do a poison wave. Did that... Oh, that was a crit. I think that heals him, though. I don't know if that heals him or not. Okay, well, what do we have? Do we have any walkers that aren't nearly dead? The answer is no. Well, that's okay. We're, we're almost there. Let's move up. Okay, so we've taken out most of the zombies in the general vicinity. Just gotta make way for one more. Let's double up her attacks, make sure it goes down. I believe this is the last set. Okay, and curiously enough, he's not actually, uh, he's not actually immune to poison in his vulnerable state. Well, that worked out, and there's another win for us. I think we might have one more run before we, like, reach the quote-unquote finale. Could be wrong, though. I don't... I really don't know how long this game is. It's really long. Okay. I'll bite. He looks fun. So he... probably does Earth? Okay, so we've got a lot of new unlocks. Including dragon-looking things. Oh, we might be in trouble here. A lot of new items, a lot of new spells. And this is... Poison! Oh! Oh, he might be poison-related. Wait, he's a wizard? Really? Okay. So we have a replacement for the tiger. Yeah, and he just starts with poison dart. Okay, so dwarf's hammer. 1 to 50 damage per hit. On hit, recharge a random spell by two seconds. Immunity to poison. Interesting. So he doesn't do as much damage as the Tigris. Increases AoE size... Uh, area size of AoE effects. When spells knock targets further back. Prolongs freeze duration and using buff. Okay. I'll bite. I, th I will give him a go for next time. I thought he was going to be a new melee character, but I guess not. Okay, so if we go back, heroes, we've got one character left to unlock, and then I'm betting all the other ones are actually just alternate skins for the characters. That seems like the most likely thing. You know, one hero more or less for every element, sort of. And then... Kind of? It's kind of a mix. What did, the, what did this guy even do? I actually, like... Oh, here. Let's go back for a second. Let's load up the, the original lineup. Let's do a new game. I just wanted to see uh, what these guys' effects are. He had Curse of Frost. Next time target is attacked, it's frozen for seven seconds. Oh. Okay, so he does one to nine damage per hit and 30% spell damage bonus. And 125 to 150 damage per hit, 50% faster melee recharge. Spell casting increases damage of next melee combo by 30%. Interesting. Personally, I think I will probably mix in. I like the Luchador a heck, more, a heck of a lot more now. And I really want to see what the dwarf's like. And obviously, we can't switch up the thief anyway. So either way, I guess this is uh, it for now. So I'll see you guys on the next episode of Has Been Heroes. And as always, thanks for watching.